In tonight's recap, another day, another interstate traffic jam on Interstate 10. Good evening, I am Michael Cole, and this is your nightly recap for Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. Before we go on to our top story, I would like to thank all of those who reached out while I was in the hospital. I got a bad cold that caused havoc to my diabetes. Your love and support was touching. It even made the hospital food edibles. Thanks to everyone. Our top story today, once again, Interstate 10 eastbound was a parking lot today due to construction. On to other news. Congratulations to Bridge City bus driver Betty Diabo. She was named not only Bus Driver of the Year for this region, she was also named the Property Casualty Alliance of Texas Bus Driver of the Year. She was honored at the Bridge City Independent School District School Board meeting on Monday. In sports, congratulations to the Bobcat Golf Team. They competed in the Warren Individual at Wildwood Country Club on Monday. The Bobcats shot their best score of the year, 325, which put them in third place behind Lufkin with 319 and Livingston with a 315. Lincoln Park shot a two over par at the 74 to be a first place medalist honors after winning a sudden death playoff. The rest of the Bobcats consisted of Xander Parks, who shot a 78, Reese Johnson, an 83, Ethan Gunter, a 90, and Drew Tran, a 91. And now a look at your weather. According to the National Weather Service in Lake Charles, tonight expect mostly cloudy, then gradual clearing towards daybreak, with a low of around 46 degrees. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming light and variable in the evening. Expect your Thursday to be sunny with a high near 73. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour increasing to 10 to 15 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour. Today for our pet of the day, we feature two little ones that need to find homes and quick. One is a male that came in last week and one is a female that was unfortunately surrendered yesterday because they don't have time for her. Both are available for adoption now. Unfortunately, no information on vetting as of yet. The shelter is no place for these fur babies. If you would like to adopt these dogs or any others at the Orange Animal Shelter, go by their shelter at 806 Simmons Drive or call 409-883-1056. Before we say goodnight this evening, I just wanted to point out that we're starting a new feature on our website called Observations. It's something like letters to the editor, but we just don't want complaints. We, we want your frustrations. We want your happy news, your sad news, no matter how small or how big it is. We want you to share your stories over a cup, whether that cup is cup of coffee or otherwise. If you want to share your stories, please email us at observations at michaelcole.online. You can remain anonymous if you like. And for Wednesday, March 23rd, this is your nightly news recap. I am Michael Cole. Thanks for watching.